Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Much bringing you guys another video. In today's video, I want to help you guys succeed in arena play in Fortnite. So basically, if you don't know, you can actually get points by wins and kills and stuff like that. And then once you get to a higher division, you lose points every game you play. So you're going to have to either one, get kills to maintain your points or grow or two, just play end game so that way you can get as much points as you possibly can. So I'm going to be giving you guys my best tips and tricks. In this game, I kind of went off, but I, I wanted to do a little tutorial and tip and show you guys, break it down, why I did things that I did to help give you guys a perspective of how to play smart in Fortnite arenas and stuff like that because there are a lot of sweaties. It depends what rank you are. I think I only have like 3,000 points, so I'm not too sweaty at the moment, but there are some sweats that I will run into. But first, starting off, as you guys can see, we have the landing. So where are we going to land in the game? So I suggest going somewhere that you really do like. As you can see, you have the whole map. Don't go hot drop cities. If you want to make it to end game, that's how you get the most points. That's my biggest suggestion go somewhere where you can get one or two kills and then you can play end game where you can be in the circle so i like to go right here in the middle of loot lake uh old loot lake so the reason i like going there is because it has good loot there's always one or two people that drop there and it's the middle of the map so the circle is going to be pretty much by you within the next two circles so you're kind of good to go you can kind of after you get the two kills you can get your mats up you can kind of chill there's fishing spots all around loot lake but you do have to be careful because there's hot cities all around it like uh risky reels over here we have salty springs here frenzy farm or whatever you guys want to call it over there so there's a lot of places that this place can get infiltrated and it happens there's a lot of times people do come to loot lake it's just it's one of those rotation spots that always gets hit so you can when you do land there play it safe man hide in a one by one not even a one by one build like branch out make like three one by ones or maybe even four next to each other and see what you can do but let's let's get into the gameplay uh let's skip to after we land so basically right when i landed i actually got pretty good loot it doesn't show the loot let me see if we can get it to show loot so surprisingly it doesn't show the loot but first drop literally i think i got a scar and a blue tack smg or not smg a uh, shotgun so it was a very good shotgun i knew the guy was below me the second i started breaking in this roof i was gonna take it but then i heard him building so i was like all right let me not let him get high ground so instantly i went to the roof got high ground i saw he wasn't up there with me so i was like all right let me see where this guy is i saw him in this box instantly was gonna put a ramp there try to take his wall and shoot him took his wall whiffed my shot i don't know what i was doing uh and then he ended up getting high ground on me got a nice shot off on me i had no more mats at this point so when you have no more mats there's two things you can do you can either challenge him but you have to hit your shots and you have to be quicker than him with a quicker reaction otherwise you're gonna die or you can just go back to low ground and reset try to hide it out let him come find you and then pump him so that's exactly what i was gonna do i was gonna go ahead get low ground I was waiting for him to come down. I could hear him coming, but I couldn't see him. And then I was like, you know what? Let me just go in this house, play it safe because I have no mats. And I heard he was on floor level, which means he's probably in this bathroom. He's going to go in this bathroom, which exactly what he did. He went in the bathroom, didn't know I was there because I was being very sneaky. So in, in arena, you need to be very patient. There's times where you, you can't be 100% aggressive. You can be patient like this. A lot of the players that are patient actually win gunfights. So I was patient. I waited, trapped himself in the bathroom, and had his back turned to me so of course one shot two shots i knew he was white health and you just had to win it so he actually was very smart he went up high ground and i was like you know what? he's one shot i'm gonna challenge him and bam challenge him got the kill stuff like that but when when he's not one shot there's no point to challenging him chasing him down because especially a person like him that could build and get out of situations like that it's not a good idea to challenge somebody like that. So if unless you have him one shot, I wouldn't do it. So let's move on. So now I'm just farming, farming up as much as I can. Uh, let's go up to when I get another kill. So I hear gunshots over here at Risky. As you can see up here, you can see fights. I decided, you know what? Let me push this. This is kind of embarrassing. I tried boosting up this hill, but then it was embarrassing. So I was like, you know what? Forget the boat. Let me just rush this guy. So they just got done fighting. I knew he was either weak or he had to reload weapons. So I was like, let me, let me just charge this guy let me just get aggressive charge him so that's exactly what i did kind of choked again i think i was choking a lot this game actually but it's fine because if you guys can see like right there i whiffed my shotgun shot like i didn't even shoot it. i pulled out the shotgun clicked it but it didn't shoot sometimes it won't shoot for some weird reason and then i ended up just pulling out my smg and just lighting him up that way which luckily he was pretty weak as you can saw he had no blue health um and i ended up getting the dub so Going back over here, I think I go over here to farm some more. I don't have max wood yet, or max metal, or max brick. 
So now that I took over those two cities, you don't have to get aggressive like that. You could, if you wanted to, stay in Loot Lake and just chill there, get your mats up and just hide, play zones and stuff like that. But I wanted to get a little bit aggressive. So right after I got those, I think three kills at this point, or two kills, two kills at that point, I decided, you know what, let me just farm this uh, steel. Now, when you're farming steel, it is pretty scary because when you're farming anything, because you can get sniped. Now, I didn't know somebody was here with me at Risky Reels. You can actually see them right there. You see the person over here farming as well. I had no clue. I was just farming, minding my own business. And then I heard him. I heard him beating a truck. I heard a truck getting hit by something. So I was like, oh, crap, somebody's here. So I instantly took high ground. Instantly went for high ground. I knew he was going to shoot me down if I went too high, so I didn't go too high. Had an RPG, so I was like, all right, let me get down already. Got down because he's going to shoot you down with the RPG anyway. So I got down, reset, was able to get high ground again and just do the Tfue classic. Stay above the guy, shoot him, reset. I thought he was shooting me down again. Hit him. Hit him. Jeez, that's so quick, man. The Tifu Classic is just hanging out. Tifu Classic hanging out above somebody and then shoot him and then put a floor down instantly. They can't, they don't really have time to react and shoot you. So after that, I think, I think that was it. I was going to start pushing Frenzy Farm, but I was like, you know what? Let me not do it. Look at this tactic. This is, this is what I want you guys to do. Get into the circle. And as you can see, I'm using metal because metal is a lot stronger and there's cars all around me. Notice how I'm building with the cars inside of where I am. So as you can see, there's cars exactly where I am. You can see where I'm building at. It's inside of the middle of the, the map. Uh, I have zone, as you can see. Uh, and I have cars all around me. So all this metal that I'm using, there's one, two, three, four, five, six cars that I can actually farm to get my metal back. And then you'll see me extend out even more and I'll farm all these cars. So I have a lot of this space is mine. So if anyone comes in these boxes, they're fighting on my ground. They're fighting in my territory where I can make the edits and stuff like that. So for the next, uh, I don't know, 10 minutes of this game, I'm just literally farming and setting up my zone. So I'll skip through that because that part gets boring. And you can see that I just, I have everything. Let me, let me show you now what it looks like from a bird's eye view. As you can see, I extended out two more blocks. So I have walls, floors, cones, and if you go inside, you can see I have cones on the floor as well with walls on each one of them. So if somebody comes in here, I can actually make edits and try and dog them the best I can. And I still have full metal because I farmed all the cars that were on the outside of this. So let's go back to gameplay and somebody actually rushes me here in a second. So we'll go to that. And I actually choke big time when this dude rushes me. So get ready for this because you guys are going to see me choke big time. I shot my gun and I think it, it, it warned people. You can see on the mini map. Now I can't see this in game, but over here at the bottom right, you can see that somebody, two people are actually coming over here as we speak. And I was just being quiet and I think I heard somebody. I was teabagging because I got, I think, plus 60 points for reaching top 25 just by hiding. All I did was hide and I got 60 points for that. So that's why I was teabagging. I was excited. I was like, bet. I heard him breaking my wall. I was like, oh crap, I got to put my wall down before he takes it. Took it. And I choked that, man. You can see my health drop. He hit me for 40 something damage. He's in my box. Now things get a little scary. And this is where I started panicking. Um, just because his ping must have been really high for him to take my wall that easy. He took this wall too. So I started panicking. I was like, oh shit. Didn't even get my shot off at that time. I, I did the shotgun thing again. I don't know what it is with my game. Sometimes when I pull out the shotgun and click too quick, it won't get the shotgun shot off. So I took another damage, had to take some minis. He starts getting aggressive because he sees me healing. He knows I'm weak. Took my wall again, bruh. I don't know what was good with this guy, but I had to get out of there. So I got instantly got high ground. You can hear him building up with me. Hit him for 61 right there. Big damage. And somebody else is sniping us. So at this point, you have to think, do I want to fight this or do I want to get down and go back into my home base? You can see the guy over here. This is the guy that was sniping me. Now I can do one of two things. I can fight the guy that has high ground with me and hope this guy doesn't shoot me down. Or I can drop back down into my box and just play it safe and let those two people fight. First thing I want to do is try to challenge him, trying to give him a little bit of pressure. I was going to take his wall. But I knew this guy had, jeez, look at that, man. He's dogging me. He's hitting me for big damage. And instead of challenging him and dropping down into his box, I, I wanted to play it safe. I didn't want to just instantly try to challenge him. Luckily, he was missing his shots. And I heard an RPG shot. The second I heard that RPG shot, I was like, all right, I'm out of here because 
I guarantee you that shot's coming right for our base. Yep, right here. You can see the shot coming from this guy. And all we're held up by is this little thing right here. By one, two stairs, that's all we're held up by. So if this RPG hits it, we're done for. So I, I had to go get back down to low ground. Instantly, that's what I did. Didn't even see that bandage gun, but if I did, that would have been really clutch. I, I didn't notice it. While I was playing, took a mini and waited for this guy to come down here. There he is. He's down in my box. I have the walls. Now I have control. I hit him for some damage. He's weak. He's healing. I know it's now my now it's my chance to get aggressive with him. Hit my shots and I end up dogging him. So I, I, that's good that I got that kill. It was a very close game. He had good ping because he was taking all my walls. But now I'm just going to heal up, play sir, and get out of there. Now you can see on the minimap there are people here. Dang, there was more people than I thought. I thought it was just me and maybe one other person, but it looks like this guy is not going to grief. He's just probably going to play circle, and these two are challenging. Luckily, the guy in the the guy in yellow right here, he's rushing me. He's the one shooting at me. He's trying to fight me, but this guy in the green hears it. He's trying to third party, so guess what? That's what they're doing. They're fighting each other now. You can see them looking at each other. They're fighting each other, so I'm good to go. And I knew I had to get out of here and, and do something. I mean, I had to try a third party or something like that. I had to take the opportunity to try to get the kill. So once I hear them shooting, I was like, all right, time to go get high ground. But I was scared that somebody was going to third party me, which this blue guy could have if he came, but he was too scared. So I RPG'd them, gave it a, made it a little bit harder for them. And instead of going low ground, I decided, you know what, let me get high ground, play it safe. And now me and this guy below me are looking at this one guy. The guy below me is not going to stop shooting this guy and come fight me. Because then he's going to put himself in the middle. So instantly, me and the guy below me, we're not trying to team. But technically, we're teaming. We're playing smart. Um, and I'm just going to RPG inside of this little box. He, he, the storm is right there. So he's got to be somewhere in there. As you can see, hit him from 115. He's probably healing up. I was trying to hit him again for at, at the little tip. But I guess I missed. Hit him again from 115. The other guy helped me out so much right there because he shot the wall down as my rocket was going in. And I was out of rocket, so I knew I had to spray. Now, this 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 is where things get crazy because I, I have to... I put the walls up behind me, by the way, so that way if anyone, like, from the outside... For instance, if there's a person over here trying to snipe at me, they can't see me. I have the walls protecting my backside. And if the guy shoots an RPG at me, I just have to put up a wall. If I if I stay out here open, he can put an RPG up here and hit me by hitting this back wall. But if I put up a wall, it'll hit the, the wall in front of me first. So I know some of these tips are kind of basic. But I'm just breaking it down because the more you hear somebody's thought process on why they play, the better you'll get because you'll start to think like them. So now we're both just spraying this guy. I'm trying to figure out where he is. It's a little laggy in a... Uh, in uh, theater mode. Hit him for 35. This is huge. I need to get this kill. Hit him for 70. Got the kill. The reason I needed it is because I needed that shield, man. If I was going to fight this guy down here, I needed that shield. I hear him reloading his RPG. I was like, okay, I got to push him now. Waiting for him to make a quick edit. But it looks like he's not editing. It looks like he's just standing there holding the wall so I don't take it. He took my wall back quick. I'm waiting for the quick edit. That's all I'm doing is waiting for his edit. But he wasn't editing, so... And he kept holding the wall. I couldn't get it. See, now he edited. Whoa! Hit him for 53. That lag was crazy. He still held, held that wall. Held that wall. I wanted to make sure, see if I can get the top. <laughs> he took the top from me. I couldn't get that. I just couldn't, I, I guess my ping was horrible, but I couldn't take nothing from this guy. Storm's coming, so I know I got to get out of there. Hit him a few times, took his wall. Hit him for 71, which is huge. I know he's hurting, and the storm's coming. He's not going to make it. So, of course, what does he do? He tries to get out of there. What am I doing? I'm waiting him for him to destroy my wall, and then the second it gets destroyed, he's panicking. He's got to get out of circle. That's his thought process is... Get out of the circle. I can't take storm damage. So I just waited and fired once my wall got destroyed. Got the kill. And instead of going to loot his mats and stuff, taking storm damage, I was like, let me just get to the next circle and play it safe. So that's exactly what I did. Skipping a lot of the boring parts. I took high ground on this one person. 
And then I think right here, yeah, the storm's coming. The storm's clo closing in. I just want to give this guy pressure fire so he's not running around, just not using his mats. I wanted him to use mats. And this guy below me, hit him for a nice 71. He's going to rush me. I know he is. Hit him for a nice 63. I know he's pretty weak, but he instantly goes for height, which at this point, I'm just trying to catch him slipping just a little bit so I can hit him. But at this point, he's already too high. I was like, you know what? I'll just knock him down. So that's what I do. Storms come. Oh, that lag is crazy. The storm's coming quick. Knock him down, and then I get down myself because I got to get to the circle. And instead of building up and fighting in the storm, I'm just playing the edge of the circle and hitting my shots with the tag. Ended up killing him. So now we got to push the end circle, which you can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of us in this last circle over here. So there could be somebody in this box, but I didn't think there was because they would have they would have pushed me by now. So I'm going to scoot up a little bit. This is when I t tunneled in. I got underneath the house to use it as cover, tunneled in a little bit, and then I think I started looting and farming and stuff like that. I didn't even see that guy there. I didn't know there was a guy hiding there. It's fine though, sometimes it's better to not challenge anything and just play it safe, try to play the end, end game, like really, really end game. I saw minis, I had to grab them. I had no RPG ammo, so I grabbed the minis. And now I gotta get to circle. I see this guy has high ground, so I decide, you know what? Let me try to get high ground too. Oh, can't go that way. Oh, I'm choking. This game, I was choking a lot, but I still ended up pulling off the victory. I'm running really low on mats, but I didn't notice. This guy shoots us down. Takes some serious fall damage. About 20. That's not too bad. And I think right here is when I run out of mats. Right there, I ran out. So I knew I had to fight everyone low ground. I had to use my my shots. Focus on hitting my shots. This guy was shooting me down low. SMG sprayed him. Got the kill. Got the uh, HP for it. Tried shooting this guy down. Here he comes. He's weak. He's going to keep building up. Now I think there's only two of us, three of us left alive. Got that guy uh, as he fell down. I was waiting for him to fall down. You can see that I'm also looking up the whole time because I'm waiting for them to drop down so I can make the opportunity. Now I believe there's only two of us, I believe. Yeah, there's only one V2. So now you can see this guy has high ground, he has mats. Now instantly seeing this guy extending out, you can see that he only has one floorboard here. So instantly, instead of shooting where he is and never knocking him down, I'm going to shoot this down so that way he falls down. You shoot that down, he falls down closer to your ground, and then you can try to challenge him. I wasn't trying to take any storm damage. Again, as you can see, he's building out and extending because he's in the circle. Shoot the one object that's away from him. Most people try to track and follow the person. Shoot this object, the one that's connecting everything, and you can knock... I screwed up. You can end up knocking him down, actually. So here he comes down again. Bam, hit him with a nice 38. He took a lot of storm damage, so he was probably weak from that. And then pull off a victory royale. So we got 10 kills there, and we also got a victory royale. I think we got like, I don't even know, maybe 150, 200 points maybe on that game. We got some good points during that game, and there you guys go. There's a little bit of tips and tricks for you guys if you want to learn how to get better at arena i will be breaking down other things rather than doing just a full gameplay like this let me know in the comments what you prefer i hope you guys enjoy it and i'll see you in the next one peace